Hello and welcome to the Stamp Camps online techniques class. Today's technique is called thumping. Now to do this technique I like to use um, semi-solid stamps. This is the Swallowtail. Um, it's new in the spring catalog. I've also done it with the Lovely as a Tree stamps. Um, we're going to start out with a light color ink. I have crumb cake here. So you want to ink your whole stamp with the light color ink first. Get this good and inked. That looks pretty good. And then what I like to do is I just like to go around the edge just in case some of that ink went on the edge. When I go to stamp it on my cardstock, I'm not going to get that outside line. So if I just go right around here, I should be good. With bigger stamps, you sometimes you tend to pick up those edges. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the more mustard marker. And if you are a drummer, this is really a good technique for you because you are going to thump that marker across the ink pad, all, or the stamp I mean, all over the place. Now it really helps if you have the radio going when you do this and you can really get into your drum beating. If I was a drummer, I could probably do two ink markers at the same time. But you just thump that all over and you will have a different look every time just because you're going to be thumping in different areas every time and you'll have sometimes it'll be lighter and darker the next color I'm going to use is the garden green and we're just going to thump you will see this one because it is a darker color ink so you can see the different thumping I think Dean would like this technique. Anything that deals with music and drums and such. And the next color we're going to use is the, excuse, the cameraman. Elegant eggplant. And we're going to thump this one. I feel like I'm in beaten in drums. All right, cover fell off, so it is done. We're gonna come in with a piece of very vanilla cardstock, and I'm just gonna lay that on the top like that. The next thing is I just take one of my clear plates from the Big Shot and I lay that on top. And then I just wanna rub around all around the edges. Whoops, hopefully I didn't move the cardstock. But this just gives me a little hard surface to push down on my stamp and we'll lift that up and how cool is that that is the thumping so now what we're going to do is I'm going to mount that on a piece of uh, more mustard cardstock like so now I'm going to put adhesive on the back and I'm going to run a piece of the Elegant Eggplant polka dotted ribbon here around the sides. The base of my card is Elegant Eggplant and then someplace around here I have a label that I punched out and matted on a piece of purple, but I don't see it. So we're just going to stick it in our technique page without it, and I'll show you on the finished card. Oh, ran out of tape. So we're going to put this on the thumping technique page. Oh, here it is. I found it. So I'm going to just stick that happy birthday right here like that. And here is my finished card. So there you, you can see how it's going to look different every time. 
Um, another thing what I did was after I got one of mine done, I ran it through the Big Shot in the square lattice folder. So that gives you a kind of a cool look there too. So that is the thumping technique. Thanks for stopping by.